Welcome to Jane's Dreamy Bookshelf. You are listening to The Forgotten Castle. In this sleep story, I will take you on a journey through the woods to a healer's cabin where you will find rest and relaxation and listen to the tale about the forgotten castle. As you settle in, please find a private, quiet place where you can be cozy for our journey. Take a couple of deep breaths and close your eyes. Feel yourself being fully supported wherever you are. This sacred time is for you to rest. As you deeply breathe in and out, remember, you are safe, you are comfortable. This time is for you to rest and relax. Our journey will take you deep into the forest to a healer's cabin where you will be welcomed inside, cared for, and given ample opportunity to rest. You will be surrounded in comfort and warmth, protected from the outside world. The cabin will be your very own sanctuary. So now, let yourself be carried away to the cabin in the woods. As you begin your journey, you find yourself standing at the edge of a heavily wooded forest. You take a deep breath and breathe in the heavy scent of pine trees. The air is slightly cool. Before you set off, you whisper the words to a spell you have been given to help you find your way. The words float for a moment in the air in front of you before gently drifting away, guiding you on your adventure. You watch and wonder as leaves and branches move aside, revealing a worn and welcoming dirt path. As you venture down the path, you pull the hood of your soft cloak over your head for warmth, allowing the heavy fabric to cover you from your head to your legs. Your sturdy boots fit perfectly and allow for flexibility and support as you venture onto the path. The ground feels solid beneath your feet as you go forth, and the path has been cleared of all rocks, roots, branches, and other obstructions. As you meander down the trail, soft light filters down between trees that tower above, creating patches of warmth. Your steps are light and full of wonder. There is a slight breeze, yet you are comfortable within your cloak. Beyond the sound of leaves and pine needles under your feet, the only other thing you hear is the constant hum of insects and birds singing. When a cute gray squirrel crosses your path, you linger behind to watch him. He hurriedly scampers up a tree and pauses halfway to peer back at you. His fluffy tail twitches as if he's trying to communicate with you in some secret language. When you don't respond, he leaps onto a branch out of sight. That's when you notice the tree has elegant symbols and words carved into it. You take a deep breath as you let the meaning of the words sink into your mind. Welcome. You are safe. You are loved. You are cherished. You touch the rough bark of the tree and run your finger over the smooth carved symbols and words as you marvel at them. As you continue forward into the forest, a deep feeling of calm settles over you. Underneath your cloak, you feel the weight of your pendant around your neck as it rests against your chest. It was given to you by the healer to keep you safe. You reach inside your cloak and lightly touch the stone with your fingers, admiring the smooth surface. It feels comforting to the touch. Beyond a tapestry of wildflowers, a small stream intersects your path, forcing you to pause. You kneel in front of it and notice the surface is as clear as glass. In the reflection, you see a hawk circling overhead. The hawk lands on a branch not far from you and flaps its broad wings. It shakes its tail and whistles at you, urging you on. You stand and make your way over to a fallen tree that will allow you to cross over the water. You are then led up a steep hill, yet you climb it with ease. As the sun begins its descent, it casts a warm golden hue over the trees. At the top of the hill, there was a waist-high stone wall covered in green moss. 
the path ends at a weathered wooden gate that leads to a small gray stone cabin below. You are filled with anticipation at the sight of it. Blue smoke drifts skyward from the chimney. Beyond the cabin, far in the distance, you see the ruins of an old castle, the tower now a greenish gray choked by vines. You have arrived. You lift the metal latch and push open the gate. From here, the path transforms from dirt to stone. The stones have been crushed into small pebbles, and you like the way they sound and feel under your boots. As you walk down the hill, the wind picks up at your back as if urging you on. Dark clouds gather above as you make your descent. It seems you have arrived just in time to seek shelter from the storm. Warm golden light spills from the windows, casting a comforting glow. The cabin stands as a haven for those seeking solace from the bustling world. Its presence is known only to those that have been invited. Its sturdy stone walls a symbol of protection and healing. As twilight paints the sky with hues of rose and amethyst, you notice that the front door has been left open a crack to welcome you. With a sleepy heart and a curious spirit, you lower your hood as you step inside and let your eyes adjust to the dim lighting. You are greeted by a spicy, sweet scent. It reminds you of vanilla and cinnamon. The crackling warmth of a fire beckons you closer. Across from the fireplace is a welcoming sitting area. Beyond this room is a doorway that leads to a kitchen adorned with herbs drying from the rafters and shelves brimming with glass vials of potions and elixirs. A steaming blue tea kettle sits on top of an old cook stove. You notice there is a ladder to your left that leads up to a sleeping loft. Your fingers trace the well-worn edges of a wooden bookshelf its shelves filled with old, leather-bound books and trinkets carved from wood. The healer steps out of the kitchen and greets you warmly. Her voice, soft as the wind, is soothing. With a compassionate smile, she offers you a cup of your favorite beverage and suggests you sit on the sofa by the fire and warm your feet. You slip off your boots and sink into the soft, supportive cushions. Lighted candles line the mantle above the fireplace, and the flames crackle, casting playful shadows on the wall. The logs from the fire shimmer with blue iridescence. Flecks of blue ashes float in the air before they swirl downwards like snowflakes. You watch them as you drink your beverage and become mesmerized by the sight. When you finish your beverage, the healer places a thick, quilted blanket around your shoulders and you instantly feel like you are melting into the comfort of it. Your body yields under its weight as you sink back into the luxurious sofa cushions. Your heartbeat slows as you take long, deep breaths. You begin to notice other sounds in the room that are soothing. The soft ticking of a clock. The house as it shifts in response to the wind outside. For a moment, all sounds become muted as raindrops lightly splatter against the heavily curtained windows behind you. You feel your eyelids become heavy. Your breath begins to deepen. You bring your legs up on the couch and turn on your side as you stretch out underneath the generously sized blue blanket. Your head sinks back as you close your eyes. The light from the fire flickers as you hear rain falling steadily outside. The healer, now sitting across from you in the armchair, begins to tell you a story about a queen that once lived in the castle of this forest. She ventured from across the sea and brought peace to the forest land with her powerful magic. She built the castle, the very one you saw outside, which was long ago abandoned and is now crumbling after centuries of neglect. With a heart full of wonder, you picture the castle in your mind as it might have looked a long time ago. You imagine yourself standing inside the courtyard, surrounded by stone walls that enclose and tower over you. 
Each stone has a different variation of color. Etched glass windows gleam in the sunlight and are adorned with iron bars. There's a carpet of lush green grass at your feet. Flowers and neat tiny shrubs soften each corner and quaint wooden benches and chairs dot the outside of each stone archway. In the middle of the courtyard is an oak tree, not quite massive yet, with sturdy low branches perfect for climbing. A slight breeze rustles the hunter green leaves of the tree, the wind at your back guiding you to the open door beyond the archway and into the hallway lined with windows. The air is cooler as you gravitate towards the great hall walking past long tables and chairs to stand near the fire burning in the giant hearth. Wood logs crackle and pop as tiny sparks fly out and shower the space in front of you. Warmth seeps into your clothing and you feel relaxed. As you turn from the fire, you see a staircase tucked into the rounded corner of a tower. You like the sound of your shoes on each step as you climb, the staircase spiraling up above you. At the top of the stairs is a bedroom, the queen's bedroom, with her aqua blue four-poster canopy bed made of oak. Iridescent curtains billow out from the sides of it. Luxurious soft rugs line the floor and they feel so soft beneath your feet, soft enough to lay on. You are drawn to the view from the window where you can see out over the vast forest. It was said that the queen brought with her a nymph from the Isle of Nymphs and bound her to the forest so that she would always protect it. The nymph, whose name was Ivy, was said to be hauntingly beautiful with wide, green, cat-like eyes. You search the trees for any sign of her, hoping to catch an image of her protecting the forest. A blur of motion catches your eyes and you finally see her. She is in the courtyard, climbing the oak tree and you can see that she is carrying a bow and arrow. You watch as she climbs a tree with ease and perches on a sturdy branch. The healer continues her story, telling you about the queen's son, whose name was Flynn. As a young boy, he spent every summer exploring the woods under the watchful eye of the nymph. At first, she only watched him from the shadows, but her curiosity peaked. No human had captured her interest like this young prince. One day, Flynn explored deeper into the woods and the forest seemed to come alive around him. Animals approached him without fear and the trees whispered tales of old. It was then, in a glade bathed in golden light, that he first laid eyes on Ivy. She danced among the wildflowers her laughter mingling with the melodies of nature. He was in awe of her beauty and grace and watched in wonder. When she noticed him, she didn't flee or hide. Instead, she approached him with a smile as radiant as the morning sun. She introduced herself as the guardian of the forest and their friendship was born. They shared stories and laughter She taught him the secrets of the forest, the language of the animals, the healing properties of plants, the river's ancient lullabies, the songs of the wind, and how the fireflies held the star's secrets. In return, Flynn told her tales of his kingdom, his dreams, and his yearning for adventure beyond the castle walls. Their friendship grew stronger, and together they embarked on countless adventures. They climbed mountains, explored hidden caves, and danced under the moonlight, their laughter echoing through the forest. Each adventure brought them closer, weaving an unbreakable bond. At the end of each summer, they sadly parted ways as Flynn returned to school across the sea. The winters were cold and dreary, and Ivy grew restless, waiting each year for spring to arrive. As time flowed like the gentle river, Flynn grew from a boy into a young man, and his heart underwent a transformation. While away at school, he began to realize that his feelings for Ivy ran deeper than friendship. His love for her, pure and true, was like the roots of the ancient oak tree, strong, 
unwavering, and destined to endure. He couldn't wait for school to end so he could return to the forest and confess his love. As soon as the ice melted enough for the ships to pass through safely, he set sail with a heart full of joy. He went straight to the forest to find her. At first, Ivy barely recognized him and felt shy, which was something she had never experienced before. Alarmed, she hid from him, even as he called her name over and over and searched the forest. She realized she was beginning to feel a blossoming affection for him in her heart. She was alarmed by these strong feelings and fearful he wouldn't feel the same. That evening, beneath a canopy of stars, she finally came out of hiding to embrace him. Their love story, a bond between a mortal prince and an immortal nymph, unfolded in that embrace of the enchanted woods. The fireflies danced around them, casting a soft, ethereal light on their love, a love that had found its home in the heart of the enchanted forest. They shared a midnight picnic by the babbling brook, a slow dance under the moon's soft glow, and climbed the tallest tree to watch the sunset together. The next morning, they discovered a hidden waterfall and sat down together on a moss-covered rock, the air around them filled with a sweet, earthy fragrance. They gazed at each other, their eyes reflecting the countless moments of laughter and adventure they had shared. Their hands, as if guided by some unseen force, gravitated towards one another until their fingers intertwined. Time stood still in that moment, and their hearts beat in unison, a rhythm of love that had blossomed amidst the whispering leaves and murmuring streams. The prince told her that he had treasured every moment they spent together, and he confessed his feelings for her. Ivy's heart fluttered as she told him she felt the same way. In that moment, the world around them seemed to fade away, leaving only the two of them in the heart of the forest. Flynn's heart pounded with a mixture of anticipation as he slowly leaned in, closing the gap between them. Their lips met in a tender, electrifying kiss, a kiss that held all the wonder and magic of the forest, all the dreams and hopes they had shared. It was a kiss that spoke of love that had blossomed in the heart of nature, a love that was as eternal as the ancient tree and as deep as the forest pools. As they pulled away, their foreheads touched, and they remained locked in a sweet, silent embrace, their hearts singing in harmony with the symphony of the woods. That first kiss marked the beginning of a love story that would endure through the ages, a love that would be celebrated by the forest itself, whispering through the leaves and echoing through the streams. It was a love that would forever be a part of the magical tapestry of their lives written in the language of nature and sealed with a kiss that would never be forgotten. With each passing year, their love grew stronger, like the vines that clung to the oak tree. They faced challenges together, jealous courtiers, the queen's disapproval, and the relentless march of time, but their love remained unwavering. When the queen passed away and the prince ascended the throne, he made a vow to forever protect the forest that had brought him love and wonder, and together, he and Ivy ruled their realms with wisdom and compassion, their love story celebrated by both humans and the magical creatures of the forest. Their love, like the enduring woods, was a testament to the beauty of the natural world and the extraordinary magic that can be found when two souls, so seemingly different, come together in the spirit of love and unity. And so, their love story became a cherished legend, whispered through the leaves and sung by the forest streams for generations to come. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Good night.